Hello, this is Cameron Ullman from Trenton Zara Cameron Ullman, and today we're going to be going over the parts to build a $655 computer. So to kick things off with the processor, we have an Intel Core i3 3240 dual core processor clocked at 3.4 GHz with 3 MB of cache. It has an LGA 1155 socket. Uh, this is the exact processor that I have in my PC, and it runs absolutely wonderful. I, it's not really meant for gaming, but I have an amazing graphics card to go along with that processor, and it can completely kick ass at gaming, as long as you have a, a graphics card to support it. But it is a wonderful uh, CPU for gaming for this particular system. For the motherboard, we have an, an Asus P8HG 1IR2.0 LGA 1155 uh, USB 3.0 Mini ITX Intel motherboard. Uh, it is going to be a mini ITX system, and I don't. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know too much about motherboards, but for this build, uh, I think this will be just fine. It has PCI slot for our uh, graphics card, and yeah. And if you ever need to change it, take, just take that out for something else. You have the two onboard video slots there, and uh, it'll just tie everything together very nicely. For RAM, we have Kingston HyperX Blue for uh, one four gigabyte stick, and this will be completely great because, as you saw on the motherboard, it has two slots. If you wanted to pop in another one of these for eight gigs, that would be just fine. But for this build, four four gigs will be enough. For a hard drive, we have Western Digital a Western Digital Caviar Blue five hundred gigabyte SATA th SATA three seventy two RPM drive. This is gonna be plenty of space for your operating system, games, programs, pictures. Uh, you can always upgrade to an SSD or add another hard drive in the future. But uh, for this build, just to build to build the computer by itself, this com this hard drive will do ju will do just fine. For the graphics card, we have a MSI uh, Radeon HD seventy seven seventy. It has one gigabyte of GD GDDR five memory. It has a DVI port, Display port, and an HDMI port. Uh, it is a little bit of a lower end graphics card, but this is a lower end gaming PC. So, well, I guess you could almost call it a mid range of, at $700. I don't know. But I guess it's kind of a lower end. But this will be good for more of the beginner PC user. It only takes a 1 6 pin power connector to work as well, which is, which is good. For the power supply, we have a Corsair CX500 watt. Uh, it'll ha it'll have uh, enough power to power everything in this build with uh, with upgrade capabilities in the future. Now, not a lot, but you will have to upgrade the power supply at some point uh, if you're planning on adding a lot more. But for, at 500 watts, you can power everything this build has to offer so far. And for a, for an optical drive, it, we just have a, a generic light on, read and write CD drive. Nothing fancy about that. For the case, we are using a BitPhoenix Prodigy. Now, this is a wonderful case that I've seen a lot, and honestly, I don't see much wrong with it. Well, not really wrong with it, but like bad about it that I can complain about. So this will be a, a good case for our Mini ITX gaming build. We'll be putting Windows 8.1 on it, OEM. Uh, that's what I run on my PC, and it runs great. I I don't think it's an 8.1 problem, but I have a computer problem where I just have tons of internet issues, but I, that's all the only problems I have, but I don't even blame Windows for that. Uh, yeah, Windows 8.1 is pretty good. I, I prefer regular Windows. I actually prefer Windows 7, but I only have 8.1 because it's faster. That's why I uh, picked Windows 8. And that'll bring all this together via total price of $655. Uh, so yes, that is the uh, build for $655. I'll be doing more of these builds at different price ranges. So yeah, so stay sub subscribed to the channel if uh, you want to hear more about this. So, yep. Goodbye.